finally, I get to talk about my wife. I don't say this often enough. I love you. You're my best friend. You're more than I could have ever dreamed of. You're gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Today, walking down the aisle, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You're beautiful in so many ways. Your, your genuine concern for others, it's just, there's no way anybody could miss it. Anyone who meets you just feels your warmth. You make me a better person and my life became full the day you became it. I can't wait for our future together and I can't wait for it to start. If I have all the eloquence of a man or of angels but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind, it is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. You deserve each other, is the next point of what I want to say. I was thinking about this the other day, and the phrase that kept coming into my head was that. And it's usually something we say when there's two bad people, and you say, they deserve each other. And what you mean by that is, God, they're a good punishment for each other, aren't they, those two people? It, it turned to me that it's a much more important phrase than that. Because what does that really mean, you deserve each other? Like, knowing how thoughtful and decent and kind Laura is, what sort of husband do you think she should get? And I hope you're thinking of somebody a lot like Brendan. And knowing how generous and strong and funny Brendan is, who would you think he would end up with if life was fair? And I think you'd be hoping for somebody like Laura. That's what we were hoping for. Because they deserve each other. And you know what, life isn't always fair. So it's amazing that they found each other. And it's amazing that they get to spend the rest of their lives together. And it's amazing that we all get to be here to celebrate that with them. And so I think we should get back to that celebration by raising a toast to Brendan and Laura, who deserve each other. I want to finish up with something I stole from my cousin. It's an Irish toast, and Laura likes it particularly. A coarse and clave, fluky gi warm ale, or hanai and shiv brain in ye warm ass. Friends and family, wet your lips now, in the moment, because you'll not get a drop of drink when you're dead.